Hello everyone, my name is Kubik. Today we're going to be covering a video on how to set up Discord webhooks and also set up JD logging as well. Uh, I've been hanging out in the 5M Discord recently and I've noticed a few questions regarding how to set up Discord webhooks. For most people, it's fairly simple. For others, you may struggle. So I'm going to do a video on that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to your preferred web browser and then download JD logs. And then just go to the top link. Link will be in the description as always. Go to the releases and click download. Once it's downloaded, you're then gonna open it up and we can close your web browser for now. Next, you're gonna to want to go into your FX server, which we've recently created in previous videos. Head over to the TX data folder CFX default folder, resources folder. And now once you're in your resources folder, we're going to drag and drop into your resource folder. However, what we are going to do to make this a little bit more simpler, we are going to take the version number out of the folder. So click on rename and just remove all of that. So just says JD underscore locks. We can now close the zip folder and open up the folder. You're going to see a series of files. You're going to be looking for config. Open up the config file in your preferred text editor version. There's going to be quite a few options here, which I'll go through in a second. And down here, line 35 to 43 is going to be where you're going to put the webhooks, which we'll create in a moment. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create the webhooks and make sure that we have everything set up. So if you haven't already, make sure that you do have a Discord server set up. I'm going to presume that you know how to set up a Discord server. And I'm going to presume you have a basic knowledge of how to create channels and stuff like that. So we're going to bring over our Discord and we're going to have it into the tutorials Discord server that I've just set up. Now you're going to create, just for the, purpose, the, the tutorial purposes, I'm going to create a category called logs. I'm not going to go over channel permissions and stuff like that today. There's plenty of videos already out on YouTube about that. So we can create a resources webhook, a shooting webhook, a deaths, a leaving, joins, chat, and all. All will pretty much just paste all of those all in one channel. However, I'm going to set them up in different channels just so that people can, so that server staff can work it out a little bit easier. So we're going to create a chat -a log. So we're going to create a new channel called chat log. Once you've then created the chat log, click on edit channel, click on integrations, webhooks, create webhook, and copy your URL. You don't need to worry about this at the moment because at the top of the, uh, top of the config file, you can actually edit it all here. So this is the chat one. So we're going to double click and paste. The webhook link will look something similar to that. Now that's done. We're going to head back. We're going to create another channel, but this time it's going to called join log. Now I'm going to put joining and leaving logs all in the same channel. So we're going to click edit integrations, webhook, copy webhook, paste and paste. Next, we're going to create one for death log. So we're going to create another channel called death log, edit, integrations, webhooks, copy webhook. Next, we're going to go over to a shooting log. So shots log. Sometimes people call it shot spotter. We're going to go edit, integrations, webhook, copy. Resources, I tend to leave that one blank uh, for the service I work on. However, if you do want a channel for that, you can just click another one. Integrations, webhook. There you go. And don't forget to save it. So next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be turning off all logs because I haven't put a webhook in here. However, if you put a webhook in here, leave that to true. However, we're going to be turning it off. So we're going to use the word false. Now, postals, it works on uh, a postal map as well. So the message will display the person's location if you wish. 
but we're going to call this the webhook is going to be called tutorial book the avatar i don't have an avatar that's going to go here however just simply upload it to something like imager or use discord or whatever you like the community name is going to be tutorial community and the footer we're just going to leave that as that is so the weapon log because we've got all this set up we're going to be using the weapon log we're going to be using the infield which i'll show you in a second we're going to be using this however i would be i'm just going to pre-warn you at the moment with this with the config.ip set to true if you have all of your staff members on your server able to see the logs this will display everyone that connects to your server their public ip for security purposes i would suggest turning it off but again it's down to your preference it's your server chat codes this is all using hexadecimal chat codes so if you we're just going to create a chat color quickly so we're just going to go uh, X color. Uh, okay, well, that's the last one I used. So let's use the yellow. So we're going to copy the hex. And we're just going to put them into all of them. Because I'm a big fan of the yellow. So then we've done all the webhooks. Title icons. I'll show you that in a moment. And more specifically, with the version 1.3.0, you can actually set up a specific Discord webhook to a particular plugin. However, I'm not going to go over that today. So JD Logs is now fully set up and it is ready to be running on your server. So we're going to move Discord over to my other screen for now. And we're going to get head out of that. We're going to rename. We're going to copy that and we're then going to enable it in the server.cfg. So as we do always, we're going to go, we're going to create a new insure and then JD logs and save. Click close, FX, artifacts, scroll down to the purple icon or what I've done for the tutorial purposes is I've just made a shortcut on my desktop. But I'm going to open that up TX admins opened up, but we don't need that. We can see that JD Logs has opened itself. And if we go on the Discord, we can now see that JD Logs has started. You can see the tutorial community, tutorial hook. And if you change the image, then it will display there. So what we're going to do is now head over onto the server so that you can now see what stuff it will load up. Okay, so now that we're loading into the server, I'm just going to bring Discord back across. And you can now see that I'm now connecting to the server. This is my in-game username. This is my 5M player identifier. My nearest postal is 7135. My, in my Discord is cubic. I'm not logged in with Steam. Here's my license and my IP. Now, this is the crucial part, which I'm referring to in terms of security. Uh, for the purpose of the YouTube video, mine is currently blocked. Um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much the join. Now, let's create one using shot spotter. So I'm just going to grab myself a gun. We're going to shoot that up in the air. Heading back over to Discord, you can now see that I shot an assault rifle. Because I'm doing one long burst, it's only going to log it once. But you can see that Zane M fired an assault rifle. Heading back over, if I then went to kill myself, so player options and then commit suicide, you can see that I died. Now, if I was killed by another person, it would display which person killed me. 
but for the purpose of the video, I'm just by myself. And then finally, chat logs. You can see that I said, hello world. So that's about it. So that's covered how to create a webhook, how to install JD logs, how to set up JD logs. Um, in the future, if you do want me to cover anything, uh, do let me know. Don't forget to join my development Discord. If you need any help, comment down below. If you need any help as well, I'll be more than happy to help. But apart from that, stay tuned for the next video, and I hope to see you guys next time.